welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in with me. Um, sorry I've been a little MIA, but I have been traveling a lot lately. But I have been shopping while I've been traveling, and I cannot wait to show you my goodies that I picked up from... These are all from Ulta, so if you want to see what goodies I picked up, please keep on watching. I'm going to start you off with this Lorac palette. I thought this was the Lorac Gold um, when I went in and I was watching it. I was just like, ooh, ah. And then I came home and I realized it was this one. Yes. They're a little bit more of the rosy color. So, yeah. Oh, well. But yeah, it's the Lorac Unzipped, and I really love these colors. Uh, so I guess this is my first makeup palette that has more of the rosy neutrals so I think it's good then I bought this little it's, it's like a table or a travel mirror easel so you open it up like this oh there's me ah. so um, this is great for my makeup kit and it just folds out like this so that's really cool you can you can bring this when you travel um, put in the makeup case I just really like it and uh Seriously, the pineapples, I could not resist. Uh, I, I was out for work, and I decided to stop in at the Ulta over there. And to my surprise, I literally, I literally bumped into this makeup stand. And I was just looking at it, and the palettes caught my eyes. I was like, what is this? Never heard of it. So I was shocked at the prices, and the makeup company is called Revolution makeup oh no it's called makeup revolution and if they're by london they're, they're from london and they, i got um the ultra cover and conceal palette and this one is the light medium um seriously you guys it is amazing oh oh my god oh so yes um the shades, it's kind of hard to show you, but the shades on here are really, really surprisingly, like, smooth. Um, they're not full coverage. I think they're buildable, uh, but they, the, the, literally, the texture is so creamy. You guys, seriously, like, the texture is just amazing. I was shocked. I, I was hesitant because I did buy a concealer palette um, from, I believe it's Coastal Scents, and it was horrible. It, good thing it was like really cheap, um, but I mean, these were like $10, you guys, seriously, $10, and look how cute the packaging is, and it comes with a big mirror, as you saw. So um, the other palette that I got was the Medium Dark, and I think this is more of my color. So these are really, really creamy. I tried it and I was surprised. It did not settle in the little fine lines that I have. It did not crease. Um, and because it's creamy, I thought it would crease and it didn't crease at all. Um, if you just apply it the right way and you set it the right way, it lasts all day, you guys. And like, and I rub it in my hand, it literally like blends into this like powder finish. It's I am, oh, it's perfect for my makeup kit. I cannot believe this find. So, yes. Off to the next thing, the same brand called By Rev Revolution Makeup. is this Vivid Baked Highlighter, and this one is in Golden Lights. I was hesitant because they did not have a tester, and just by the way it looks, I really thought it was going to be chalky. Oh my gosh, I was totally wrong. Like, look at look at this. It is amazing. I'm not wearing it today, but I have been using this like every day. So they have two other colors, but for some reason the the Ulta by my place, I actually have two literally like on each side of me, and they don't carry it. They do carry it online, but I guess I should just order it online. But I literally really love this. The other one is like a pink, and then the other one's like this purple, and they remind me some of the they remind me of the, some of the colors off of ColourPop. So I was really excited. I can't wait. I'm excited. 
Next, I got, these will be NYX products, and I did pick up the NYX HD uh, finishing powder in banana. Really good reviews about it, and it, it's a lot better than what I thought, and it's just so smooth and velvety, and it sets perfectly under my eyes, and it does not crease at all whatsoever. Really liking this. I would love to pick up the correcting one. I believe it's, they have a purple one and a green one. Or maybe it's just translucent. Okay, it's a NYX Skinny Mascara, and this is perfect. Look how tiny that wand is. It seriously fits perfectly on my lower lashes. I have small, big eyes, and I never really put mascara on the bottom of my, like, my bottom lashes because I was always afraid that it would smear because I already had a problem before about my top lashes like running down right here and it just made me look like it, it I felt like it enhances enhanced the bags and no girl wants that right so I really like it and um it's not super clumpy at all but it definitely separates the lashes what I have at the bottom and I really really love it it's seriously the next, so the next thing I bought are Adele lashes I bought the I've never seen these before they're the curvy um, lashes and this size or this one is 415 and it looks like yeah it's the fan type where it kind of comes out I believe that my eyes really work best for this since I have big bulging eyeballs then the next one I got is 414 black and it's more of these spiky kind but still the fan cat like ones that kind of fan out and make your eyes like really elongated so really I, I can't wait to try these. And, um, Real Techniques, I got more sponges. I love the fact that it came with two. It was like $10. So I'm about to do a fashion show this weekend. So more the merrier. And then I picked up, I already used this, but I picked up the Real Techniques powder brush. Oh, you guys, it's so soft. And it's not too dense, but it's still dense enough to where it just picks it up and then I just perfect and just all over the face and the next one I finally broke down and got it you guys highlighter it's been a be dream come true and they got it it's the Laura Geller uh baked gelato swirl illuminator and gilded honey seriously you guys it's so adorable it's amazing can you see that? Like seriously, it makes my cheekbones. I have a little bit of it on. I don't know if you can tell. Right here. Right there. Okay, cool. Yes. All right, but next. That is that. Um, I finally picked up the tart, the tartist, tartist, tartist. It is the um, clay paint liner. I did not get the brush. They were out of it, but I have so many. I believe it will work just fine. So I believe this, like when you put it on, it does not come to a glossy finish. It comes to a matte finish, I believe. I think so. So I was excited for this. They actually had one at my store. So I have eczema and I have it really bad on my legs and I decided to kind of venture out and use more of a or organic um, uh, body wash slash bar of soap. I've been using the Whole Foods bar, but they just weren't moist enough. And I finally decided to break down and get it. And then actually they're really, they last a long time. They're, they're like a freaking brick and they buy, they're by Shea Moisture. So the ones that I picked up are raw Shea butter soap. And then the other one I got was this fruit fusion, coconut water, energizing Shea butter soap with MB oil and aloe. Um, oh, it just smells so good. I'm just so happy they picked up a whole bunch. And then I bought the argan oil and raw shea butter soap with frankincense and mirror extract. And this is the anti-aging and softening. Um, so it has no smell. It's okay though, but these things literally have saved my skin. Look, even my husband uses it. He actually recommends these more than he recommends his um, Irish soap that he uses. But yes, you guys, look how freaking big these things are. They're like a brick and they last forever. Yes. 
Then they came out with lotions, so I was really happy when I saw this one. It actually is the same one that I got in the bar of soap, but this is a fruit fusion coconut water energizing body lotion, again, with MB oil and aloe, and seriously, it is like Tahiti, Tahiti in a bottle, and you guys, after I take a shower, this stuff, I like, like, ugh, this stuff is amazing. I like lotions that leave a little bit of a tackiness, but it, because it makes me look like I'm just shiny all over, like a Greek goddess. Like, I love when my skin just glows and it looks hydrated and, oh my gosh, I was, I, I'm on, honestly, I'm anxious to try the other ones, but I decided to try this one first. I did have the berry fusion one that I got from Beautycon, uh, but I gave that to my cousin because I originally thought that I had allergic reaction. So I just went about this one. Okay guys, thank you. This is pretty much it for my Ulta makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, please like and subscribe my video. Alright, bye guys. See you later.